The way we built and the way we designed and the way we programmed the Manticore was actually done with a customer journey in mind. From the time you're standing by it, the car would detect proximity and identifies with you through the phone. This is the authentication screen. I put my fingerprint, the screens come to life. From capacitive sensing buttons to the virtual clusters. One button has multiple functions and those functions relate to this screen here. Now, if I break it down by product, we have the Traveo, which is the microcontroller that controls the instrument cluster. That allows to do 2D and 3D graphics. If I go to race mode, all of a sudden, the speed moves here with a real-time GPS map. If you move to the center stack, we have PSOC 6, which is controlling everything, and it's a dual-core architecture, so it has embedded security. We add what we call the 4343W, which is our wireless chip that gives us the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity to the outside world. We have the Semper Flash that allows us to do over-the-air updates. If I want to add one window, I can download it with Wi-Fi. I can reprogram that button to have one more gesture up detection. The whole car is inherently wired with sensors. All of that data gets collected, gets data logged on an FRAM, and the data is retained flawlessly. We put every technology that we have in this car. If we're able to do this with the car from 69, imagine what you can do with cars that already have a very strong baseline of electronics in them. That's what this car is all about.